stretch in that fourth quarter. Uh, tonight we did. Uh, we did a good job of getting stops uh, when we needed them. I thought uh, DJ's steal was a big play. You got to make plays like that uh, when you're in situations like we've been in. Uh, I thought the, uh, the the last shot, big rebound, Oyeka and uh, John Collins uh, were big on the boards for us uh, tonight. And um, then I got, I thought our guys executed offensively. Um, we stepped up, knocked down our free throws, and made plays in the fourth quarter to uh, to win the game. I know in games prior, you know when another team goes on a, on a run, especially like they did. I think it was a thirteen to two run with a few minutes left in that fourth quarter. Sometimes dropping the heads just. You know, do you see a little bit of growth from the team, especially? You know, well, we put three C's on the board um, every night, and uh, three C's is in, in that situation. Uh, you got to remain calm. You got to be clear about what you need uh, to do, uh, and you got to play connected basketball. Uh, they did make a run, but it, the game wasn't over. It wasn't out of reach, and uh, we were able to keep our poise, uh, go down, get a score, Trey. Uh, had a quick attack to the basket and uh, got an and one uh, in that situation to uh, think it put us down a possession. Uh, so we kept our heads and we, uh, you know, just stayed with it and we were clear about what we need to do. We need to get a stop. Uh, and as I mentioned, um, uh, DJ's still was, uh, was a big play. Um, for you guys to, uh, I guess, sorry, I... <laughs> um, um, I noticed that you guys kind of seem to stagger Trey and DJ a little bit differently than usual. Trey coming out a little bit earlier in some quarters. I'm just curious kind yeah. of what kind of went into that rotational choice. Yeah, well, you know, those guys have been playing um, the whole quarter uh, in, in, in our games. And I just I, I told them I, I got to give both of them a breather uh, because I want them uh, playing both sides of the basketball. And I thought we were a little bit uh, fatigued, um, you know, late in the quarters. So, uh, you know, I changed the rotation to uh, to give them a breather. Um, and, you know, it's a short breather, but it's a breather uh, because I need them playing on both sides of the basketball. I don't need them resting on uh, maybe the defensive end of the floor. Uh, uh, I need that energy, that urgency on both ends of the floor. And tonight we, uh, we've we changed our rotation as far as how we uh, rotated those guys in. And then as far as Onyeka, especially picking up those two offensive fouls, I think they're on those illegal screens, I guess. What's the next step for him moving forward to, I guess, avoid those in the future? Well, we, we, uh, we pull all of those types of plays uh, for all of our guys, you know, guys who are getting called for illegal screens, um, you know, uh, defending uh, movement. Uh, we have someone that we work with that we pull those videos and we show our guys, uh, you know, what they're doing, you know, whether they're sticking out a hip or uh, their, their legs are too wide uh, or they're pushing off. Uh, you know, so all of those things is uh, we, we pull for our players and uh, we show them the video uh, to teach them on that. But, um, you know, John, you know, stepped in and played really big for us tonight. You know, he had to, he played 40 minutes, uh, you know, had to guard big Sabonis, uh, did a good job of scoring for us, but also rebounding the basketball. Uh, with 12 rebounds tonight. So, you know, uh, John really uh, stepped in and, and, and played well, uh, playing big minutes for us tonight. For sure. And then um, I know keeping them in front and limiting those points in transition, holding them to 11, just what do you have to say about them as far as you guys? Well, I thought our offense, uh, I like our offense tonight. Uh, we, we weren't really turning the ball over a lot. I mean, we had some. We had some, we had some plays that uh, was we was a little loose with it, but uh, you know basically we got back, but we weren't jacking and taking those quick shots. I thought we made them play our defense certainly in the second half. I thought we did a better job of uh, making them defend and not bailing them out with quick contested. Uh, shots. So, you know, we're a team that normally takes care of the basketball. Um, you know, tonight we did have a, a couple that uh, 
we're loose, loose with it. Um, but when you have a balanced floor and uh, you can you can get back on some of those uh, transition plays. Um, but I, I just I just like the way we we fought tonight. We scrapped and uh, we made a way uh, to win this game. Coach, around the 8.30 minute mark in the fourth quarter, they, Sacramento decided to double the ball handler all of a sudden. I was able to get a couple of uh, or something. You immediately called timeout and was able to get things going again after that. I was wondering, what was the primary message during that timeout? Well, we knew that they had double teams, uh, you know, in their defensive package. Uh, they did it last game. We played against uh, Sacramento in Atlanta. Uh, you know, uh, Mike, he will be, get aggressive and take the ball out of uh, certain guys' hands. So uh, we knew that that was coming, and we, we just didn't do a good job of spacing the floor. Uh, and they were able to, uh, you know, get a couple steals off of those plays. But anytime, you know, a team is putting two on the ball, uh, you make sure that you have the proper spacing. The ball handler has to get that ball out, and you should have open attempts. You know, so basically the message was uh, keep your spacing. Uh, we know that it's coming, and get the ball out and look weak side. And uh, we was able to do that a couple times and got open looks. Uh, before you guys headed back onto the, the floor for the second half, there's a moment where you and Onyeko were kind of talking and you're demonstrating a couple of things. I'm curious what you were, I guess, coaching him through and, and how did he receive it? Yeah, that was, oh, he, I mean, he, he understood what I was uh uh, was saying basically they were running a play in that first half that they got us they scored a couple times and we were talking about how to defend that that action with Sabonis um, and um, he just needed to make an adjustment on how he was defending that and I thought he did that the second half they didn't go to it as much uh, the second half but uh, yeah that's what we was talking about any last question 